this Farmer's Day, we're celebrating the gallant men and women who work tirelessly to put food on our tables here in Ghana. Today's event is under the theme Planting for Food and Jobs, Consolidating Food Systems in Ghana. And it's taking place in the central region town of Cape Coast. So while we wait for the full program, let's hook up with our central region correspondent, Richard Kojonyako, for a feel of how the celebration grounds are at the moment. Richard, good morning. Can you please paint a picture for us and what can you report from the grounds? Richard, if you can hear me, uh, what can you report from the grounds? All right, we're trying to get to Richard Kojonyako. Richard, if you can hear me for the last time, what can you report from the grounds? College Park, where the March advertised Farmers Day is can used to start any moment from now. The dignitaries have started arriving. They are waiting for the president uh, to arrive. Then the actual program will begin. The Minister of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development is seated. The Minister of Agriculture is seated. I can also see uh, the 2020 National Best Farmer also seated. Chiefs, MD of ADB, as well as other major stakeholders. Um, if you look at the back of these, the prices uh, for the best fishermen and farmers have been boldly displayed here. You can see the tractor. And there is a hundred thousand uh, dollars for the first person who emerged, uh, the 2021 National Best Farmer. And so there is excitement all over in the air. The week started very well with a lot of activities relative to the Farmers Day event. There were forum and topical in these forums where that they need to give proper financing to the farmers and fishermen to enhance or boost their farming and fishing activities. And so um, we have also been engaging the director of uh, Fisheries Commission, uh, Michael Atadaze, and he is suggesting that there should be a name change because the National Farmers Day, um, the name that is there, does not really resonate with the entire thing they are doing because there are fishers also involved. But his comment also uh, was agreed on by MP for Cape Coast South Kekuri Hagan, who is a former Central Regional Minister, and he comes from uh, the fishing constituency. They were also supported by Mr. Samoa Boatin, the former SEGA chairman. And so it's, it's, it's really been exciting here. The event venue is gradually being filled, and um, people are exchanging pleasantries. So a short uh, a moment, um, a moment to come, the president will be arriving at the event venue, MFR. All right, uh, Richard, so how's the program like, uh, lineup like looking? What time are we expected to start? Richard, can you hear me? So let's, let's try and speak with some of um, the awardees, the award winners here. Uh, they come from all over the country. Um, let's try and uh, catch uh, the eye of some of them. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, what's your name? I'm Edmond Datua. So where are you coming from? I'm coming from Wa Upper West Region. Well, so what are your expectations today? Um, we, farmers is a great day for us and um, we are happy that we are being honored. And I hope that everybody will go back happy and that it will be an encouragement to other farmers to also put up their best so that we can feed the nation. What do you want to see change in our farming uh, setup? It, I expect there to be modernization, some type of modernization, so that we can increase production to meet the country's needs. Okay. So there is a lady seated uh, beside him. Uh, good morning. Okay, that's your wife, right? No. Okay, so an award, an award winner as well. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Okay, you can't speak any of them. Okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let me speak with you. Uh, good morning. Good morning. It should be an exciting day for you today. Yes, yes, exactly. Where are you coming from? Northeast. Northeast region. What are your expectations today? Uh, we're expecting to get a good award because we've done well in the farming activity. We are farmers. 
and I believe we've done better, not even small, better. So we deserve a good award today. Uh, Are you hoping that you carry the ultimate prize away? Yeah, for sure, because by what we've done on the ground, we deserve it. If you don't give us the ultimate prize, then any prize that they give us, we are okay with it as a, a farmer who is growing. And what kind of farming do you do? I have uh, rice farms, maize, corn, soya, a lot. I do crops and I do cattle too, fishing. I have the biggest rice farm, about 4,000 acres of farms in the, in the country. For how long have you been in farming? I've been for six years now. Politician to farmer. I'm a politician as well. So a farmer, as a farmer, what do you need uh, to show up your production? Yeah, I just need uh, a lot of, well, like publicity and then uh, machineries that can help harvesting and plowing and all those things. So these are some of the machineries we are looking at. But, well, we are doing well. Uh, we are doing well in our area. We are doing well, very, very well. And uh, let me formally introduce myself very well to you. I'm the Northeast Regional Chairman of MPP. A regional chairman, not a constituency, Northeast Regional Chairman, Chairman Nuru. Okay, I hear, I hear, I hear you. So where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years? So I, see, I see myself in farming activity in the next five years. My aims are just to put my own brand of rice into the Ghanaian market, local rice, so that important rice into the country will slow down, then we'll make it because this year alone I had a lot of paddy rice lying down in the village market. Only people complain. I heard your news on TV3 talking about rice, food price in the Ghanaian market. Rice don't buy up to 300 Ghana CD in the market. We have rice in the village. My counterpart farmer is here who is also a chief a farmer. We are selling rice at 130 CD per 100 kilos in Northeast region. 130 30 Ghana CD for 100 kilos kg of rice in North East region. So whoever tells you rice is buying higher, maybe he sells it somewhere. But if you want rice, come to us in North East region. We can give you a better rice and give you a good price. So we don't have all of these boil down to quality. No, we have two quality. We have quality. The paddy rice, local paddy rice. We have agra and other uh, sub rice. We have the rice that when you when you mail it, you get good quality. This is what we have. Okay. Uh, so right. Th thank you very much. So um, what do you do? What do you do? I'm a farmer from Northeast region. What kind of farming do you do? Wow, across board, across board, I'm into crops, rice, maize, and soya, and then I'm also into cattle, sheep, and here and there. In fact, I just farm all. It might be exciting being a farmer. Share your experience with us. Um, farming now is a business, and we're also thinking of putting uh, food on the table for you as well as your farming and especially when you are doing mixed farming it helps a lot because this is where you can farm then when you are into crops and then the bad products to your animals you use it to feed your family uh, you used to feed uh, the, the animal so I think uh, farming is interesting nowadays and then you know we are now uh, putting local farming at the same time we are mechanizing it and now we have a modern way of farming where we use chemicals and spraying we don't we are no more using who here and there to do our farming so now we are doing commercial and farming is a business uh, do you think that you've been appreciated enough as farmers oh well you know we are still there so maybe as time goes on what i receive maybe others will wish to get that but they are not getting so what i have now i thank all my team for a uh, for a recognition because uh, nominating me from the region i think i'm on it it's a, it's a pleasure yeah what do you make of the national celebration every year for you to travel all the way from the north to this place? Is it worth it? It's an experience. I've been to, we've been to uh, Kakum National Park. We visited uh, R&B and so many uh, tourist sites, so many farms, so that maybe when we go back, maybe we'll also see how best we can uh, also. All right. So um, um, it will be interesting having a woman to speak with. Um, any of the women to speak with? Um, good morning. Good morning. Please, what's your name? Pachomeka Tree. Okay, you're from Victoria, Acha. 
na oye eku adwuma mpa cho mi ye eden na eden na wudua ne anye kwa mi ye fish okay where do you fishing or you fishing uh -huh. mpa cho mi fish savanna region mm. oh okay nti um and and they are bahi eden na opesa o ka kire gana fo nyira oh dey mi pese mi ka che ye mi wa ho abebre say me she me nua no nyina akra say mama omu ye nyina ye nyiri ye ho na adwuma no ye ye na ye fe de metimi aka nkyere omu ano no se ye nyina ye mfa ye ho njim na adwuma no ye adwuma fu ye nyina ye ye na etimi to mpo ye mi wo ka kire me nua no nyina e hwa ye nama e nama ye chiri wo nsio ma pumu no e nama no e so ate ene ade enti ye den ye be ya ye be nyana me bebre wo apu yi eh e so ate na nyi nyina ne se edu sa emre bi wo ho ana a call for Munso, a Sabbath, do a Mrebin Soir. Now a Samba, Union, I am funny, say, a Yaminji, a warm man, a Eba, and a warm man soir, a call for Tinina, a better radias, say, a Mrewa, a bet to me, as I'm cause to say, Fessel. Okay, and see, you bet today, I hear Emma, sa fish farmer, no, I hear lucrative, I hear Connor, my mouth for between a baby. Nina, Jenna, I so said, yeah, you bet. So many, the best so many. I feel so. The Emma and I'm not even quite for more pain. I say, Obi Owo and I are much did it. I want to know more. Emma and I'm not even timid. We be brave. But any now, you're timid. Jai San, you're man. You're not here. Now, said the first. I think I could tell you so. I must say, I'm not a bit close to part. I say first. Now, in front of Ghana, in front of Ufi, me free. Ghana, me cry, me free. So no, me free. North Tong. Okay, you see, this woman is coming from the North Tong and is a fish farmer. She's been sharing her experience as far as fish farming is concerned, has been encouraging uh, the youth to get into it because it is lucrative, it's attractive, and together we can uh, build the fishery stocks in our ocean. Um, I have got another woman here. Good morning. Good morning. My father is from Asama Elizabeth. Now, who is here? My father is from Brew East, Techimai. Hey, who is Techimai? Tilapia, <laughs> I will take mine. 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 Sesia dia de ehia ne se na ye pese ye ka cha ban se nka ye na me no bo wo so wonte so na ye hu se sebe nya ban ne ne kra na mo no nti ye de se adwuma ne ko ma ban na e ba ye din kakra nti de ye se ne se em ahoto ovi no o ma e biya wo ke se no mo ye adwuma e ja ne so e ja ho fi ano pokosi anwumre nti ye se se ahoto ovi no o mo nti mi ma ka ne nyina nya ban kan ba ye be fa bi na ban so fa bi na o mo ye sa kwan ne so Okay. Thank you very much. So this is so this is an awardi who has been sharing her experience with us. Uh, she basically has been explaining uh, what she does. Fish. Uh, she does works. Um, on some fish, selling them tilapia, catfish, and what have you. But they are gradually changing from the way they grill the fish into the Ahuto oven, the new technology that has been introduced, so that um, they will get a lot of people to work with them. He said that the old method um, does, uh, does prevent people from working with them because they have to stand near the fire or by the fire all day and it affects them and so people want to shy away from that kind of practice let's see what we would be able to find here uh, you see some of the 
awards um, here. This is the Certificate of Insurance, the 2021 National Best Farm Mom, second runner up, 200,000 life insurance package. We have other packages as well. And so these are some of the awards, the medals that will be put around the next of these awardees. And it's been interesting here, but I have got um, the Miss Agriculture uh, 2021. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. Of all the pageants in the world, why did you choose Agri? Because Miss Agriculture Ghana is a pageant targeted at attracting young ladies into agriculture. And that is why I choose other beauty pageants do not focus on agriculture. And this is the only pageant focusing on agriculture. Is it a campaign you are, you are clamoring for the youth, especially the ladies, to have interest in agri? Yes, we are changing the status quo. We want to get more young ladies into agriculture because this sector is a very promising one and we need the youth in agriculture. Thank you. So how many, how many young ladies have you been able to bring into the agri sector? So far, we have about 20 young ladies so far. And where do you want to go from here? From here, we want to, um, the world at large, we want to encourage every person out there to get into agriculture, especially young ladies. What's your name? Randy, Randy Abam. Okay, so what exactly are you doing as Ms. Agri? Uh, okay, for me, I'm promoting um, common bean and cowpea in Ghana. Because initially, common bean was not produced in Ghana, but due to the hard work of, of some of us, we are now producing common bean here. So I'm promoting common bean in Ghana. All right, thank you very much. Let's see if we could speak with uh, the Minister of Fisheries um, and Aquaculture Development and the Minister of Agri. Let's see if we could we could uh, pick a word uh, from any of them. Any of them. Um, let's speak with Madam Hawa Kumsin, who is seated very well. Um, Madam, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, yourself. I'm good. You might be very excited sitting here. We're celebrating farmers and fishermen today. Tell us what was the feeling? As you rightly mentioned, I'm so, so excited. Especially since my resumption as the Minister for Fisheries and Aquaculture. This is the first time we are celebrating the fishers and their farmers and i think it's a very laudable idea we always part at the back of our farmers and fishers it's very exciting many people are clamoring for a name change from the national best farmer to the national best farmer and fisherman award what was your take on it? Oh, I think it's good. It's laudable because you, I mean, you should always change your strategy of doing things. If you were the original farmer or a rice farmer, the next time you should be the overall national best farmer. And I think if we keep doing this, it tells us that we are bringing or oh, there is more competition in our activities. And I think it's good. So what will be your message to the farmers and fishermen on this day? I say are you equal to all of them and they should keep their hard work because without them, we cannot live. They have been feeding us. Everything in the country is from the farmers. And we say are you equal to all of them. God bless them and give them the strength to continue to feed Ghanaians. What, what can we do to make their work better in the ensuing year? Oh, a lot of things are being put in the way. Um, I mentioned the last time and today too I'm saying that we are putting in a lot of reforms. Next year, Fisheries and Agriculture Development will go into institutes or start the, the, the Fishers Fish Festival. You know, it's something that other countries do celebrate. Ghana, from next year, we are going to begin celebrating the Fish Festival. And I think when we start doing all this, it will encourage them. Apart from that, this year, first of its kind, a best fish farmer is going to go home with two bedroom self contained It has never happened before. And these are some of the things we are doing to encourage them. And I believe by next year, we may come up with other items to be added to their award 
items to Thank you very much, madam. Uh, let me pick a, a word from the Minister of Agric. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Well, so, what is your message to the farmers and fishermen on this day? My message is very simple. The farmers and fishers have responded very strongly to the incentives that the Kufuado government <coughs> is providing. We would encourage them to continue in this stead because it's really serving the people of this country and not only the people of this country, the people of West Africa in general because now Ghana has become a food basket and as we speak you see a lot of uh, traders from around West Africa coming here uh, to feed on the surpluses generated by the good work of this government and that is something very commendable and uh, it's because of the hard work of the farmers and we can't take it for granted that the fact that government provides incentives automatically the target group will respond but in this case in the last five years farmers have responded very very positively and we congratulate them for that um, the president um, is just arriving at the podium and so um, uh, this has been our coverage of the National Farmers Day celebration that is currently taking place at the Adisadal College Park. The president, uh, there is a sign that the president is arriving at the scene and so we will hand it over to you, Maps, for you to continue. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Richard Kojanyako. We will go back uh, to that program later on when it begins.